as we continue our lovely conversation on healthy other and the reliability and consistency of them. So lovers, because they are open-hearted and so they continue to expand. This is our 5D collective. So our 5D collective doesn't need a shielded heart. We don't have these boxing gloves. We have an open, unshielded heart. So you will have chosen Christ consciousness. You will be a person or you are a person who knows how to mindfully and or spiritually listen, be aware. So you have emotional awareness and resiliency. You love to do emotions, okay? And so speaking your truth is something you have fun with. If you heard our channeled guidance, you will have heard of the story of where I got to do this recently. And you get to keep on doing physical mastery. So mental emotion, physical mastery is for me. I'm an Akashic Record reader, Reiki master, and Oracle tarot card channeler as well. So by accessing our lovely Akash consciousness, this infinite, beautiful energetic sphere not provable of course we know that that's why we're cool with the pseudoscience business and woo woo spiritual because science is spirituality it all comes together but by being that conduit with an integrated brain we get to be in a physiological state of compassion so that's a healthy other okay you're self-attuning and self-aware and in awareness you're self-regulating because you don't have emotional triggers or buttons no shame defectiveness none of the childhood wounds none of that you're a person who has no trauma charges. You have emotional, mental, and physical awareness, and you re-regulate your nervous system as you're engaging with another to be yourself. So social engagement, I'm with a person, even if we are agreeing to disagree, disagree. We're having a discourse, not a debate. We're bringing our authentic selves, our differentiated self. So I have thoughts, I have emotions. I have a history, where I come from, what I do, do. We have different ways that we see all of it. Politics, religion, you name it. But we're going to be playful. So we're going to have not that distorted ego that the facades who are adaptive child parts of themselves, okay? So they pull that pain point, that charge. They walk around like Braveheart, unforgiving. They don't uh, allow themselves to be flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, stable with different ways of using words. That's why we're having a situation with words right now. So they can be a superhero and supervillain for themselves and they're saving people. So when they get into your face, they're just, uh, and they won't have what is an interesting conversation. They're going to have a distorted ego. They follow vain people. They are vain themselves. And it's all the insecure stuff, which is why they still use Lucifer and demons and monsters when it comes to that, which really is so sad. We have personality disorders and we have people who have maladaptive child patterns of behavior from their own unresolved trauma. So the reality is it's sad to see the cold hearted individuals use Lucifer when we have explanation from neuroscientists to neurobiologists to all the good mental health professionals and they want to use the word God and the word Holy Spirit. I grew up with that and the word Jesus and then they want to do this and say lack of imagination for evil. There's no lack of imagination. There's a bountiful of education and more building in time. It will continue to build of our embodied brain and how it works and so those dissipating ancient stories are for the people who are going to not heal their inner world and move into becoming the healthy other okay so when you have a low self-esteem indirect communicator passive aggressive they're rigid which is why boundaries are i'm canceling blocking and friending and just calling you a name because you're different than i am we're not going to be offended because the people who are of the 5d collective we forgive because we're pacha with information, meaning that blessed are those who believe without seeing, forgive for they do not know, a person who doesn't take their first three years of life seriously they will not know of their inner child. This is why Patrick Tiahan, childhood trauma survivor, healed in healing, he shares there's a lot of cowardice out there. They don't come and get their childhood back on board. They don't come to reclaim their kindness from within. And they will follow the facades and that's where it's not for us to say to them what state of consciousness to live. So the human suffering love narrative, they will continue to want to be supernatural and super this and super that and, you know, organize themselves in groups and so on and so forth. So they will show themselves in time because they won't be consistent in the way that their bond with you 
Okay, when you have consistent people, they don't change how they feel about you. Love is a consistency. And that's why the 5D collective, we don't lose faith in anyone, our oversoul. We don't have tragedy with our twin flame or twin flames or our soulmates. We have universal love. We have more of our oversoul and it adds, we have an open heart and we continue to believe the Christ consciousness group is a group of reliable and consistent lovers and bonds. If I have time, we'll talk about some stories in a minute. And in the meantime, a quote from our lovely Bezel van der Kolk. There is more and more evidence that this association is caused by dysfunctional attachment. You don't have somebody who looks at you and picks you up and responds to you when you are in distress, so you learn to deal with your misery by shutting yourself down. Anyone who doesn't have the capacity to be a healthy other is going to be a person who navigates their relationships. We have Terry Reels scale, so he has avoidance and anxious. So porous boundaries, porous boundary less, I forget how he words it. And then here they just block themselves off. So one is just shutting themselves down from the heart. The other gets chaotic. So chaos and rigidity and grandiosity for this side, the anxious we have the squirrel from Cusco land when he's angry. Remember when Cusco is, at, is in the pit with the Jaguars after he threw at him the acorn, the Emperor's New Groove. So the angry squirrel justifies their very not nice tactics if you watch it. He's, he's laughing, he smirks at Cusco, I'm gonna get my revenge back. I've seen people with their oversoul, twin flame, and soulmates do this. These are the distorted feminines where they will justify the emotion the uh, vengeful little tooth, the rage, whatever it is that comes up, and they will then allow themselves to justify what is, in fact, sometimes I've been in a situation where the structural dissociation is a part of the equation and not in a way of anything negative extremely, but in a way of that's not cool. But these same individuals, when you give them food for thought for their inner well-being, by the way, because they are suffering, they don't hear it. They, they continue to follow all these other people and identify they want labels for themselves so they don't go and take care of their inner child to reparent and to learn to self-attune to self-regulate and to regain get earned secure attachment okay so they won't become a healthy other until they learn to be their own safe haven secure base because that's the only way you're going to speak your truth with an open heart and your heart is generous, not because it's generous, but you can overflow because you're self-regulating though, again, in your ventral vagal state. And so you are at ease with other and with life. This is the bliss and the light. It's not wine, it's more than wine. It's an amazing just sitting, being calm, breathing. So you might be already, actually you could be pretty much close to this. You navigate the neutrality spectrum and beyond. So mindfulness helps you to do more of this. If on the other hand, you do the laundry bit like the Zen master, then you're not creating more emotional, mental, and physical resiliency. So you're not mastering those planes. Healthy other wants to do more emotional well-being because you can. If you're doing mindfulness, this is the point. You can. Some I don't want to do it right now. I want like now. If you do that, like the Zen master, you don't build more of this. You don't build more of, of this inside of you. Okay? So you're in bliss and delight because you choose this. Three pillars of mindfulness. I'm aware. No, I'm, I'm focusing my attention on me. I'm going to be aware of me. So I own myself, observe, witness, narrate, like Dr. Daniel Siegel shares. I have my essential spark. The essence of me hasn't died, my adolescent brain, because I'm integrating and I want more integration. Okay, so this is where you have a whole self. It's the people who are not here yet, the ones who need therapists. I, I saw a cool infographic. So brain-based approaches, this is for therapists from NICBM. Uh, they talk about how, let me see, it can seem like the lower brain, the parts responsible for our emotional reactions and our defense system has been severed from the upper thinking brain. So when we have after trauma, after trauma, it will seem like the lower brain is severed from the upper and so they designed a tool to help conceptualize the clinical options for the therapist. So they show an image. You can go on Instagram or their website. And top-down approaches, they help clients think differently. So that's where you start with CBT, 
And then they have what is MBCT. I don't know what that one stands for, but sensory motor psychotherapy. The body is really important because again, you're learning to self-regulate and you're also learning about all of you. And then we have comprehensive resource model yoga. Yoga helps because it's a ventral vagal portfolio of toning exercises and EMDR. These are bottom-up approaches. So EMDR and yoga with the comprehensive resource model support the bottom up how to help clients cope with their raw emotions and defense reactions. Okay, so a person who is healing from trauma with a good therapist will have somebody who can give them options. Okay, so a healthy other, for example, when I hear of people who are healing from BPD and NPD, I'm very happy that they have good therapists like Dr. Daniel Fox and that they are being told, okay, find the healthy other. So it means a person who won't use your issue and create a characterological um, distinction so that they won't use your issue against you is how he puts it. This is very important, which is why our 5D collective is important as healthy others. We are the ones who are consistently able to stay open-hearted and to work with a person with our effective communication because the inner child adult is a person who knows how to set and respect boundaries firmly, which is why the unhealthy self worth people they self-select out they won't like it cuscos that don't want to live next to pachas and become their best version okay so all of us can be our best version all of us will be imperfect and flawed which is why we're not perfect in any way shape or form but we have emotional resiliency we know how to talk about things consistently playfully we continue to believe in each other and we don't have laundry when it comes to emotions and we don't use your fears or concerns or issues against you so we don't use character traits and say you know what you're a bad person you you're awful we don't that's not how a emotionally mature anyone uses it we don't have fun with uh judgments and narrow states of thinking those who are narrow of mind are not young at heart so you'll find again the mindful and the spiritual person is open playfully playfully to all things we're growing that community as we speak so the people who are seeing how much humanity has come from yesterday are the ones who know ecclesiastes 7 colon 12 wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter but the advantage of knowledge is this that wisdom preserves the life of its possessor people who are playful they are in their authenticity speaking a truth in an open-hearted way, which means that all you're going to do is being hug yourself, hug another, and in your ventral vagal social engagement. That's why you're reliable. That's why you're consistent. That's why you don't do any of, I'm going to use your fears or your issues or whatever it is against you. I don't use you and your mannerisms and behaviors against you. I don't need to do that. That's unnecessary. I'm going to talk to you like a human being. I love, accept, and respect you. And you are going to always be you to me. So I'm going to continue to love you just as I did yesterday. Obviously, as I get to know you, here's where when you get to know that some people are not healthy, it's because they will have maladaptive child patterns of behavior and adaptive child patterns of behavior. So they will be a Cusco. You remember how Cusco accuses Pacha and he twists things. So when you have that, it's not fun. Uh, it's heartbreaking, but it is what it is. Uh, some people, again, they're not self-aware. The 5D collective, we are self-aware and accountable and regulating. That's why we are reliable, consistent lovers and our bonds will continue to expand and grow a healthy other again they have consistent contingent communication they don't change because they have a whole self so they expand they consistently expand the consciousness they are that's why i don't feel ever changed even though people like to play with their words yes you did you're changing you're getting older yeah i am <laughs> i'm getting more loving so yeah you know what i have changed i've become even more <laughs> of the love that I've always wanted to be. You know, it's so fun. And of course, I have all those other feelings. In fact, I'm still mastering how to handle the facades because if there's one thing I don't like is liars. Formalities and facades are liars because I'm a divine feminine, so I'm picking up on their inner child and that means their nervous system and that means that if they're hiding something, 
I know it, but they won't know it if they lack self-awareness, accountability, and regulation skills, which those who are not mindfully aware or spirituality and spiritually aware and then that they want to live a life of meaning and connection, the true spirituality life beyond the soul self, okay? So it's only once you care about living a life that is true to you from here, but open-hearted, the essential spark, social engagement, true heart-to-heart relationships, being vulnerable, intimate, novelty, creative expression. It's really fun. Join us. And that's if you are obviously intrigued by doing more mindfulness, mindset, mindset, and just hearing self-empowering, enlightening stories. And uh, 5D Mystic here also talked to you about the Oversoul and Twin Flames and Soulmates and a lot of stuff. So thank you for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Like, share, and subscribe. It'll help the channel grow. And again, have a wonderful day.